Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this lesson we are going to talk about the tan graph. Okay, now with the tan graph you're typically going to use steps of 45 degrees and not one, I mean not 90 degrees because you know in the previous lessons we used 90 degrees for each of our steps. Okay, I've run out of space a bit here so I'm just going to extend this 315 and 360. Then I'm going to do the reverse and then the y values you can typically just still use 1 and minus 1. That's not really a big issue here. So then once again we're going to call on our calculator and we're going to just type in the values. So for example, I'm not going to show you the calculator this time. I'm sure you guys understand by now. So we start off at 0 degrees which is over here. So you type in tan 0 on your calculator and you'll see that the answer will be 0. So we'll just put a dot right there. Then you type in tan 45 on your calculator and it's going to give you a 1, so you put it over there. Then an interesting thing about tan is that if you type in tan 90, you're going to get an error on your calculator. That just means that you should draw a dotted line going down the 90 degree part like that. Then we carry on, tan of 135, that should give you negative 1, so that's over here. Tan 180 is 0, tan 225 is 1. The tan of 270 gives us another error. And then the tan of 315 is minus 1, and then the tan of 360 is 0. Then I'm just going to do the reverse side. Tan of negative 5 is minus 1. Tan of minus 90 is another error, so you just draw dotted lines. Tan of minus 135 gives us a positive 1. Tan minus 180. Tan minus 225 gives us negative 1. Tan and negative 270 gives us another error. Tan of minus 315 gives us 1, and then tan minus 360 gives us 0. Now we've got to connect this. So the way it works is you start off at the 0 position, and you just want to go as close to these dotted lines as possible, and then you just go up like that. So down here you want to be as close to the dotted line as possible, and up here you want to be as close to the dotted line as possible, and then you just connect the dots like that. And then over here we can connect the dots, so it goes along that one. Here you just connect the dots, and so it will go down there. See, if I just connect the dots, then naturally I can see which direction it goes in. And then this one will just go up here. And then if I just connect the dots, and then it goes there. So you just want to let these, like little snakes, I guess, they you just need to get them as close to the dotted lines as possible. But don't let them cross over, so we can see all over we've got these dotted lines. And that's it. That's a tan graph. Now we need to talk about amplitude, period, all of that stuff. Okay, so the period. Now, remember for sin and cos, I said that you should memorize 360. Well, for tan, you're also going to memorize, but you're going to memorize 180. For the amplitude, now remember amplitude on a sin graph, for example, we said that you should find the resting position, which was over here, and then you should measure the distance to the highest point. Problem is with a sin, I mean a tan graph, is that it doesn't have a highest point. These arrows are trying to tell us that this thing just keeps going up, 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 or it keeps going down, down, down. So the amplitude does not exist. So we can just say NA, not applicable. The domain, well that's just what they've given you. So they've clearly given us from minus 360 up to 360. So you'll just say XE, going from minus 360 up to 360. Oh, but what's very important, I nearly forgot, is that the graph does not exist at 90, 270, minus 90, minus 270. So the way that you would show that is next to this part over here, you would have to say something like x cannot be, and then you'd list all those values, so minus 270, minus 90, 90 and 270. X can't be those values. That's why we've put a line through it like that. So you're saying that X is all the numbers from minus 360 up to 360, but it can't be those values over there. Then the range, well check this out, the lowest value of this graph it just keeps going, and then the highest value of this graph just keeps going. So you could say that Y is an element going from minus infinity all the way to positive infinity. And remember, with infinity, you don't use a square bracket, you always use a round bracket. 